Hey guys, today's video is gonna be on natural mood enhancers. I'm gonna leave the links down below to where I got all of this information from. And just in case you guys wanna go and read about it yourselves because there's some other information on there that you can read up a little bit more on. I have my papers here with all my notes. So let's get right into it. For some people, scents can be more than just a fragrance. It could also be a memory, and if the memory is a good one, then it can lower a person's stress and improve mood. Some scents that make me feel good is the smell of fresh cut grass, the smell of Play-Doh, and then also the smell that comes out of the vent when somebody's drying their clothes. For some reason, that scent has always made me feel like all good inside of me. The smell of lavender can help you sleep. Cinnamon can sharpen your mind. The smell of pine can alleviate stress. The smell of fresh cut grass can make you more joyful. Citrus can help a person feel more energized. The scent of vanilla can elevate your mood. Peppermint may boost concentration. The smell of jasmine may ease depression. Apples may ease a migraine. And olive oil can satisfy your appetite. Chocolate is known as a mood booster. It may boost levels of serotonin in the brain and act as a natural antidepressant. Eating chocolate in moderation can give you that boost that you might need or make you feel a little bit more upbeat. If you guys have a Trader Joe's next to you, you can buy this big pound plus chocolate. What I'll do is I'll break them up. So whenever I'm feeling like I need a boost of energy or a pick me up, I'll eat two squares. I usually do that before I go to work. Sunlight can brighten a person's mood. When light enters the eye, it stimulates the brain to produce serotonin. This triggers the cascade of chemical changes in the brain that significantly improve mood. Like if it's a sunny day outside, try opening the, the blinds, trying to get as much sunlight inside as you can if you're gonna be inside that day. If there's not much sunlight, what you can do for then and for the future is change to higher wattage light bulbs, or you can buy one of those portable mood lights. Folic acid is a B vitamin that is essential for a proper nerve function in the brain. If a person is deficient, they may feel sad. There's different ways that a person can improve their deficiency, which is maybe taking a multivitamin or specifically a B vitamin. You can also get folic acid from foods such as beans, peas, fruits, and green leafy vegetables. During sleep, the brain rebuilds mood, elevating hormones. It stores through different experiences that you had throughout the day and decides how to deal with them. Getting more sleep can reduce feelings of anxiety, stress, tension, and sadness. During the times when my mood is lower than what I would like it to be, I notice that during those times, I'm also not getting enough sleep. It really affects my mood. So I notice that it's really important to stay on a sleeping schedule. That way I get tired around the same time and then I also wake up at the same time. Listening to music has a powerful effect on a person's mood. It's the music itself and not the lyrics. So try listening to something with an upbeat rhythm or melody. Those are all the things that I researched online and I found that I would like to try next time that I'm feeling a little down. And if you try those things also, please let me know and let me know how it worked for you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Speaking of upbeat music, I wanna leave you guys with a song. So here it is, bye. Get my shoes and out the door Five, I'm alive Six, seven, eight, feeling great Nine, I'm gonna shine, life is good I'm doing fine Ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah I look into the sky with all the beautiful color But there's more than just for me So gonna share it with another I got two show to give, let out, out